Hi, welcome to Nichecraft. My name is Cassie and I'm your host and you are about to see all of the great things that I'm going to be putting in my very Merry Christmas giveaway. <laughs> and that is Greg's name for this giveaway. I wouldn't have come up with something like that. <laughs> so just wanted to give credit where it's due. So um, before I begin, I want to say this is open to the United States and Canada only. Um, I don't have enough subscribers yet or channel members yet to be able to afford to ship worldwide. But when I do, I will let you guys know. Um, so second, I wanted you to know that there are some terms and conditions that I'll have to read at one point during this video. And because of that, it's really important that you watch all the way to the end because part of the terms and conditions is I'm also going to be telling you how to enter. Um, also, I think uh, most people would probably want to watch to the end so they know that everything is in the giveaway, right? Um, the third thing that I want you to keep in mind is that um, sometimes people will comment back on my giveaways and they are spam people okay they're, they're just I don't know they sound, they seem like robots they'll say congratulations you have won and then they'll ask you to like send your information to them or they'll ask you to text them sometimes email them different things like that that's not me I always announce the winner of a giveaway in video form and that's the same for this one I will announce the winner of this giveaway on the date that I tell you guys about in the terms and conditions. But right now I want to get started showing you all the awesome things in this giveaway. So let's go. So first off, I have a red and green um, tote. I think this is like um, a canvas tote. Um, it feels like cotton. Um, so just, just kind of keep that in mind. They're, I mean, really they're reusable grocery bags, but hey i actually use these for my project bags so i thought that they'd be fine um and so um whoever wins this is going to get a red and green tote all right um so my first item is this very christmasy christmas cottage 500 piece jigsaw puzzle it's an 18 inch by 24 inch um, and it even appears that it might have a little bit of glittery stuff on it. Now that could be that I have this, it's in a, it's in a, like a shrink wrap. Um, that's important because you know that all the pieces are in there when it's shrink wrapped, right? But it has, um, a little cottage with Christmas lights on it and a little pot, like an evergreen outside with Christmas lights on it and a snowman and all of that kind of great stuff. And, um, I just want to say before I move on, um, I personally do not like to talk about religion because it can be a touchy subject for everybody and, and all of that. Um, I just want you to know that um, I'm respectful of all religions. It's just easiest for me to say Christmas, so that's what I'm going to call it. But just understand that I'm not trying to hold any kind of position on which kind of religion over midwinter um, is the like dominant one or um, this is not a comment on that in any way. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, you know, using the very Merry Christmas theme. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So again, we've got this one. It's called Christmas Cottage and I think it's a really pretty puzzle. And uh, anyway, so that's, that's one thing that's going to be going in this giveaway. Just so you know, there's so many things I can't even keep them all on screen. Okay. <laughs> all right. So the next thing that is going in this giveaway is this little notions pouch. I really like it. It has um, presents on it and candy canes, the mistletoe and the snow. I thought it really embodied Christmas well. And I also thought that um, given that we've got red and green on here, you'd probably not want, want a predominantly red and green um tote. So I think this is actually navy blue. It could be black, but I think it's navy blue. But um, anyway, so this is a tote. And um, some of the things that will be going in the tote, we've got this, um, these pair of hair and scissors. It's got a little protector for the beak area. I always love these. I think they're so pretty. I love them. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, we also have the um, stitch markers and the diaper pen stitch markers and the the darning needles the yarn needles so we have a red and green one and then we have the silver needles here and then we've got um, red green and gold well it's yellow and white 
diaper pin stitch markers those are always good to have um, so i have that in there inside an organza bag i've got um this tape measure here it's um a white tape measure with red print like i've really i really worked hard to make sure the that the theme was out here okay i also included one of these tape measures um it's red obviously <laughs> and uh, you pull pull it out and then pull put that to push it back in i i always can't find my tape measures it's like a chronic condition like cassie's chronic condition is that she can't ever find tape measures so it's important to have like at least two right um so this is a row counter I typically put them in every single giveaway I do. Um, to turn it on, you just press either one of these buttons. That's a 275. How interesting. So um, to clear it, you push this small button. So once it's clear, you can push the big button to count up your rows. So we've got row one, two, three. It just keeps counting up by one each time. And if you want to clear it again, just press that button again and it clears. Yep. So we have that row counter there. Um, another thing that I like to include, because I think they're so cute, are these this little keychain with the hooks on them. I always include these. I think they're cool. I have never tried to crochet with these little things. I just think I think they're probably supposed to be decorative and not anything else. Um, but I just think that they're cool. And um, you know, speaking of Christmas, it might make a good stocking stuffer if you have a um, child or grandchild or if you know somebody who you'd like to teach crochet to, um, this would make a really nice, neat stocking stuffer. You can keep it for yourself because seriously, you, you're getting all of this. Who, whoever wins is getting all of this. Okay, so I have a couple of special items now that I want to show you. Um, and I want you to know that the first two you can find on my Etsy store as of right now, okay? So here's the first. We have these Christmas themed stitch markers. There's five of them. We've got a Christmas tree. We have um, bells. We have a wreath. We have candy canes. And then we have this little snowflake. And so there's a set of five Christmas themed stitch markers. Um, and like I said, they're on the, they're on my Etsy store right now, but I'm going to put an extra pair in this notions pouch here. Um, you will also get, and these are also on my Etsy store right now. Let me just kind of straighten them up so they look nice. We've got gingerbread men. Yeah, we have the white frosting and the kind of light brown frosting, the brown frosting, and the black frosting. So I really like those. I think they're cute. They have little miniature rhinestones on them too. Yeah. And and I just want to say these are really lightweight and so are the other ones. So sometimes um, stitch markers that that um sometimes they look more heavyweight than they are and i just wanted to say that i make sure that my stitch markers are pretty lightweight okay so just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that and then these are an exclusive i am only going to be putting these in my giveaways um probably throughout the season um but um also these christmas tree ornament stitch markers and the reason these are exclusive is that these are um, little balls and it's kind of hard to um, ship these right but I am going to run a little deal and this is gonna be like once December hits I'm gonna run a little deal where I'll include these in my um, mystery boxes on um, Etsy so if you want to get a mystery box from me just know from December you'll get some of these stitch markers in there. Okay, they might not be these colors because there's lots of colors in this. But um, anyway, so these stitch markers are going to be going into this giveaway. Okay, so we have the red, the white, the green. And then we have this one that's like, like, let me see if I can hold it up. It's like red, red and green and gold. Yeah. So anyway, I think that these are cool. And I'll I'll make sure that when I pack this up that these will be really protected. I'm just going to kind of put them to the side here because I, I want to make sure that they're, that they don't break or anything. All right. So, um, we also have, I decided to just keep 
the pouch that this came in because I think it's really cute. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe you might disagree, but I think it's so cute with these little flowers and everything. Anyway, these are crochet hooks with the rubber grip. I just took out the smallest one and the largest one. We have two millimeters as the smallest one right there. Let's see if my camera will zoom. It might, it might be really confused. Anyway, I hope you can see that that's two mil. There we go. Two millimeters. Okay. It's tiny. Look at how tiny that is. Oh, now my, now my camera's like, why are you making me zoom? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that old commercial? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah. Probably I'm the only one in the world that remembers that. Anyway, <laughs> here is the 10 millimeter one. So yeah, really tiny to really big. And I just want to um, unzip this so you can see just how many, like, Look, oh my goodness. And now I'm gonna add the two that I just showed you. So there are a lot, there are a lot of crochet hooks, everything in between. Okay, so that covers the notions and the hooks. Um, next, I just wanna tell you some of the other things. Um, so you guys have told me that you really like these color wheels. So I have decided to um, try to keep these in my giveaways. So I have these color, a color wheel here. Um, just, just so you know, it's, it's interactive. I don't want to take them out of the plastic, but I don't have mine directly um, in my reach. But just know that this is one of those things where you, you've got all of the colors and you can see which one's the opposite of each. Some of you guys who um, have bleached your hair probably know that when your hair comes out that orange color, yeah, that the way you get rid of that is by using blue shampoo. Or when your hair turns out that yellow color, the way to, to neutralize that is by using the um, purple shampoo, which they're calling violet, right? So, um, and I'm sorry, I'm just talking about if you're bleaching your hair and you want it to be blonde, <laughs> you know, and that, that's how you neutralize those tones because people with really dark hair, when they bleach their hair, it comes out all sorts of different colors. I don't know why I would know that, huh? <laughs> so anyway, it, it shows you the color opposites like that, um, but it also shows you colors that go together that are just like right next to each other and all sorts of uh, all sorts of different stuff. There's so many things that you can um, play with on this. It also shows you what happens if you're adding black, adding white, adding blue, yellow, or red. And um, on the back, it even has all of these extra tones to each color. So it's like really, really comprehensive. And um, anybody who is doing art in any way could benefit from this. And I know that I'm kind of color challenged. I know a lot of people are like, wow, you put together these really nice um, color palettes and everything. I'm, I really find myself being color challenged. So that's, that's um, a result of these color wheels that I get <laughs> as far as figuring out what colors go together and all of that. So just wanted to mention that. So um, I just have a few more things before we get to the yarn. <laughs> now I did not have any Christmas themed um, notebooks but i always like to include project books because i think they're so important to have in your tote or in your project bag whatever because i mean taking notes about what you're working on um is is awesome so i picked this one because the wind's blowing and that reminds me of being cold <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just a collection of these field books or what they call uh, that um they're just these line notebooks and they had monet paintings on them so i like this one and then this one was the closest thing i could think of to christmas because it looked kind of like a snowflake you know hey it's a mandala um and then i have also included a um just a standard bullet journal I love bullet journals. I personally find that they help me very, very much in just organizing my life. But bullet journals can also be nice for drawing out diagrams because when you have those dots, it's like, it's like a grid. It's like graph paper. Um, so, um, 
bullet journals are also nice because I can use them to help me design things. And so um, you'll see that gold is one of the colors. Um, and so this, this just matched it so well. And I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and put one of those in. Um, so I'm going to put these off to the side too. I also included two sparkly pins. I couldn't really get into the spirit with these because I only really had... Um, you know, more traditional colors of sparkly, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if there is traditional colors of sparkly. We've got um, uh, kind of like a metallic, kind of like maybe charcoal color, and then this kind of rose, rose gold. Because it's, it's a little bit rosier than rose gold, right? So, <laughs> so I'm calling it a rose, rose gold. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sorry about this. This is going to be so long, and I'm so sorry that I'm making you guys listening to listen to me. So, the yarn! <laughs> so, let's show you the yarn. So, first off, I have this Mary Maxim Cotton Socks. This cotton is so soft. It's squishy. There's something really squishy about it. Um, it's not abrasive at all, and it's like this white and a red color. Let me see what they call it. They... Whiny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really look like wine to me, but hey, maybe they're talking about red and white yarn? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a peppermint to me. So anyway, I decided to include two of these, ones for each foot, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. This, this is a super fine weight, but it, I mean, it, it's... It's, it's a good cotton sock weight. Yeah. So we've got these. You can make yourself some peppermint socks. <laughs> and then I also have a collection of Cotton Kings. We've got white, this kind of maroon color, and then this red color, and then this green color. Okay, so we've got these nice Chris Christmassy colors here from Cotton Kings. Yeah. And, um, of course, you can make all sorts of things with that. I didn't put this in the picture, um, but I also decided to add this extra Scott Sockin Schockenmeyer Katina. I've never been, I've never actually thought of how to pronounce that. Schockenmeyer <laughs> Catania. Um, you know what? This was originally, I've got to, I mean, I'm going to tell on myself. This was originally in my 4th of July um, giveaway. And one of the sweet ladies that won that, I was like, oh no, I left out one of your whites. And she was like, don't even worry about it. And I was like, well, what am I going to do with this? Then I thought, oh, this could be used to make like snowflake ornaments. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'll put it in this giveaway because you could definitely make a couple of snowflake ornaments with this. Um, it's just a 50 gram ball. Um, and it's a two, but it, it's a two weight. Um, but it has a lot of yardage. It's got 137 yards and considering how um, you make snowflakes, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have problem making several. Um, so yeah, and plus you have these that are those cotton kings. You could make a shawl out of these even if that's something that you wanted to. Speaking of shawls, I thought that this um, Christmas universe from Hobie would make a wonderful Christmas shawl, if that's something that you would like to make. Um, this would be a lightweight shawl, but it's still so pretty. And I mean, look at that glitter there. Let me see if I can, oh, there we go. That's a better way of holding it, Cassie, come on. Yeah, look at all of that glitter. All of that glitter is this like kind of, um, green tinsel that's like wound around all of it. Yeah. Um, anyway, so this is one of their Christmas universes. Now they have this in all sorts of different colors. This is color number 23. Um, all the colors are numbers, so I, I don't know what specifically it's called. Um, so this, this is a 100 gram ball and it's got 505 yards in it. So in both, both of these together, would be 1,010 yards, which is plenty to make one of those really huge shawls out of if you want to make a shawl. Um, or, I mean, there's so many different things you could do with it. This is a um, weight one, so you could also just add this to a white and make a really sparkly blanket, you know, baby blanket maybe, or 
you could even make a shawl out of that this that's even warmer you know if you want more of a warm shawl i just it's got all these colors in fact this one's kind of like kind of like showing off more of the colors so we've got like this like watermelon green this more evergreen we've got this true red and we've got these pinks um and here we've, we can see some maroon i mean there's all sorts of different colors in here and it's just so, it's just so pretty. I, I always like these Christmas universes, or I like the universe line. And so I've got two of these for the winter. Um, and then here comes the really big, big amount of yarn. And this is um, a weight three yarn um, from Kartopu. And uh, this is um, Kartopu Flora. I can I wish I could explain just how soft this is. Oh, it's so soft. Anyway, this is a 100% um, acrylic, very soft. It, it reminds me a little bit of Simply Soft, um, but it's smoother than that. Let's put it that way. It's like Karen Simply Soft, but it's smoother. It's really nice. You can tell that it's a really nice brand, right? So I have two in this red let me go ahead and get these other ones out of the way so i can line them up for you now you probably saw these in the picture if you saw the picture already but yeah so we have two in these red and we have two in this green okay we have two in this gold i've always found that this gold color looks really nice with christmas colors so got two of those put that to the side over there can't even fit them on and then we have two and please be kind to these because when they came in my package they got they were smushed a little bit they were just kind of like that you know and so th this is how they came okay I'm sorry about that but they're you know all of this stuff it's it's there these aren't like half skeins or anything this is this is a whole skein um and so these are the two white ones too so i think you could do a lot with these okay so now that we have these out here i'm gonna go ahead and tell you the stats um so this brand kartopu is made in turkey and um and but it does have English writing on it okay um and these are 240 meters each and um again it's 100% acrylic very very soft um and it is given that we have eight of them that I have a calculator over here okay I didn't do it in my head that is 1920 meters which comes out to just over 2,000 yards um so you can do you can make a blanket out of this right so i wanted to make sure you had enough to make a blanket a scarf whatever whatever you need to make that kind of is christmasy you can get a, you can knock out a whole lot of christmas gifts with this you know um there's all sorts of stuff you can do and then there's one more because it's a tradition this might look like a kind of a weird color to you at least it looks a little bit weird to me um it seems like you can't really see it correctly in over the camera and that's just too bad because um the way it looks um in my hand here is like a very very mossy green almost like it's emerging from from dirt because there is a little bit of brown in here but it's mostly this mossy green i really hope you can see that in there and um this is a noro um and this is called um something like um this is this is called something like the return of spring and the reason i wanted to put this particular one in this giveaway um aside from any of the other noros that i had that i could have picked from is that i think it's important and kind of part of the holiday season regardless of religion that um to know that there's going to be a return of the light a return of life and all of that and sometimes that can be um, difficult to remember when it's really cold um, sometimes people in fact I, I would say a lot of the times people end up not having that great of holidays because they're putting a lot of pressure on themselves and maybe there's not as many people around or they're missing people that can't be there and that kind of stuff and I just wanted to insert this bit of hope and light in the concept of this because I know 
then in my life, I mean, I'm just going to say it, I get stressed. I get stressed around Christmas. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, we need to remember that, um, to enjoy the season, understand that it's more about gift. It's more about bringing warmth into a place where it's desolate and cold and that the poetry of the season, regardless of what religion you follow is, um, it's just beautiful, right? <laughs> so I think that it's important to just kind of keep that in mind. So that's why I, I included this like spring beginning or hope springs eternal. <laughs> I'll give people points if they know where that came from. Anyway, this is the giveaway. I hope it's enough for you guys, right? All right. So there's going to be one winner of this giveaway and I'm going to now redo the terms and conditions. So YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway. This is funded by me for subscribers to Nishcraft. This giveaway is open to residents of the United States and Canada. To enter, you must subscribe to Nishcraft, like this video, and leave a comment telling me something that you either love or something that you don't like about the holiday season. And, you know, seriously, either way, that's fine. If you want to do both, that's fine too. <laughs> okay, so um, I will choose a winner by random comment picker at 6 p.m. Central on November 15th. Okay, guys, I want you guys to have enough time. Whoever wins this, I want you to have enough time to make all of that Christmas stuff. That's why I'm doing this so early. And I understand that Halloween hasn't even happened yet as of the posting of this video, but um, goodness, when you, when you are into slow fashion, <laughs> as some knitters and crocheters are called, you need this stuff as early as possible. So I get that. Um, so the, the winner just must you answer that question about either what's your favorite or what's your least favorite thing about the holiday or both either, either or, um, or both and. <laughs> Once selected, the winner must email me with a mailing address within five days of the announcement of the winner. And for this giveaway specifically, if someone, if the winner does not get a hold of me within five days of me announcing the winner, then I'm going to pick another one. Okay. Um, so I just want you to know that if, um, if you end up winning this, make sure you're subscribed and you have your notifications on so that you know if you're a winner, right? So what to do now? If you want to enter this giveaway, then go ahead and like, subscribe, make sure your notifications are turned on so that you know that you've been picked if you're a winner and make sure to leave that comment um, that I told you about, right? If you would like for me to start shipping these giveaways to outside of the United States and Canada, there's also something you could do. You can either subscribe to the channel and know that once I hit 5,000 subscribers, that's when I'm gonna start shipping worldwide, or you can become a channel member. And just know that becoming a channel member does come with some perks. So um, once I have 50 channel members, then I will start shipping to outside of the United States and Canada. So either one of those milestones, once I hit it, then I'll start shipping abroad, okay? Another way that you can help the channel is by visiting my Etsy store, of course. Um, and you can also help me out by visiting the channel wish list. I only put things on that channel wish list that's for the channel. So the stuff at the very top is my next, the next stuff that I want to work on. I have some acid dyes, but I have not quite collected all of the equipment I need to use acid dyes safely. So once I have all of that equipment, um, then I am going to start the acid dye process and that'll be really fun and that will probably lead to um, my own colorways going up on Etsy and then you'll be able to purchase yarn that I've dyed which would be awesome. All right I think that covers everything. Um, good luck to everybody who enters and thank you so much for watching this to the end. I will see you soon in another video. Bye for now.